Welcome to the Business School uh, video interview. I'm with uh, Grace Huang, uh, who is a Cambridge Judge Business School MBA student. Grace, thank you very much for being with us. Thanks very much for Matt for coming here, and uh, it's really great to have the chance to speak into the camera right. and okay, speak to the people. Perhaps we can begin uh, a little bit with your background, both professionally and academically, before you decided to come back to business school. Yeah, I was graduating a uh, uh, university in Beijing, which is called Communication University of China. And during my bachelor, I'm studying English broadcasting, which is also international journalism. And then I decided to go on for a master's degree, which is in the communication and public relation. And then I started working in Beijing for two years and moved to Hong Kong for move, uh, working for a listing company, which is uh, focusing the film industry for another two years and then I come back to China for a private owned financial institution with, uh, working on the financial leasing industry for another two years. Right. So of course you know, tremendous opportunities in the, in the Chinese on economy. Why the decision therefore to come to the UK uh, to do your uh, MBA? Um, yeah there are huge development in China and um, I heard from a professor said that Chinese uh, fast dev development is coming from the late, uh, late coming advantages. We cannot just base on the late coming advantages. We cannot only base on our human resources benefit. We need to find some in innovation ways to support our future development. So that's why um, Chinese people are now looking at global wide for more opportunities, not only learn from uh, the international societies, but also try to get involved into that, into the um, advanced development of all the technologies or, or economies. As UK has become the best partner for China in the economy development, recently so uh, it has become one of my reasons why I choose UK. The other reason is that I have a strong like uh, sense or like uh, feelings of UK. I want to come here and to experience one year. Since in China every student start to learn English in English textbooks so it's from UK from BBC. Right and, and of course you chose uh, the business school that's part of Cambridge University with its 800 years of history. Um, how important was it that the business school was part of this uh, tradition of, of Cambridge University? Comparatively speaking, Judge Business School is quite new. Mm. It's like uh, only 20 years old and compared to the 800 years old universities. Uh, it's quite new but uh, because it is new so it's full of energy and it's like adapt to all the uh, innovations and uh, development of the, all the technologies and the business development. So um, that's why I feel that Judgment School is a combination of the history, of the um, culture, of the historical things, of all the classical cultures of British and also it's a new um, it has lots of new ideas. It's like a very liberal environment. We can find like the um, newest technologies from the chemical engineering because that department is just next door to Judge Business School. We can have dinner with those uh, PhDs, which are actually very funny, <laughs> and you can learn lots of things from them. And also the um, the. The university, you know, the, the Cambridge University has the system of the colleges. So during your life in each colleges, actually you can, you can have interaction in different levels with the peers, with the uh, younger students, and um, it's quite fun. I can feel 50% um, of my uh, feelings is coming from the university, the, uh, the whole surroundings, and 50% is from the lectures in the judgment school. And as you look back over the last few months of your studies here, um, have there been any particular highlights in the classroom or uh, outside in, in, in the college that you belong to? Well, I would say that there are two highlights, ma mainly. First is the rowing in the can. Well, that is something really like never happened in my life before. As you know that Beijing is uh, it's not famous for the 
environment is not famous for the river. So in Cambridge, in such a beautiful little country village, so um, it's like a place that very calm. There has nice nature views, but also with huge intellectual figures together. So when you're rowing in the Cam River and see the sun rising on the grassland in the, uh, far away, and you think that, oh, this thing, scenery has been seen, has been experienced by all the big figures in the history, like the Keynes, like the Newton, they all see, see the, saw the same sceneries. Right, and uh, the other thing is like uh, the uh, CVP and GCP, which is the unique consulting project in George Bins School. The first is the project that um, related to the Cambridge uh, local uh, uh, corporate, and uh, the other is a global consulting project that is related to different countries. Um, I mean, corporates in different countries. So, um, but basically, you need to working with your team. The team is consists of the 19% international students, which is the Judge Mills very famous for. That is the diverse diversity. So, when you're working with them. The biggest challenge is the culture. It's not about the professionalism because everyone is really good at their own uh, sectors. Someone is really good at finance. Someone is the marketing expert. Someone is a, a huge salesperson, or someone is the an analyst that are really good at calculation. But when you guys working together, it's not about the professionalism. It's the, it's about the how to interact with each other and uh, um, how to synergize the biggest, the optimal uh, output. So when talking with that, I, I feel that I really learn a lot from the um, teamwork. As, as a Chinese student, do you feel that what you're learning is then applicable um, in the global uh, business environment, I including those cultural perspectives that you're also developing? Well, I would say that it is huge benefit for me because um, China is not closed there. Uh, we are not closing our door anymore. We need to go out and cooperate with the international team. And we're not just the learning. We're going to devoting into the teamwork. Uh, so for me, learning from those experience, actually it will be directly applicated in my future work. Because my future job, I want to working for the um, globalization of the Chinese uh, private equity. So it means that uh, Chinese private equity uh, also want to do the investment in the outside world. They, are, they won't just focus on the uh, business in China or the uh, co companies in China. We also want to look into the other uh, the, the opportunities in other world, uh, in outside world. So, but if you want to invest in that, if you want to find opportunity, find the business uh, premium in that, uh, in other countries, you need to first understand how to work in that place. You need to uh, ha know how to deal with that people, how to negotiate with them. Uh, where is their concern point? So. Um, yeah, I would say that it's quite useful. You were enjoying a very successful career that you decided to, to give up to come back to, to get your MBA. Are you confident of the return on your investment? Uh, I would say that the, the experience, the life, the every day I enjoy in Cambridge is kind of like return on my investment. So talking about my intention, why I choose to come to here for the MBA in such an important year in my career, well, I think that there are two aspects. First is that I want to have a career change. I don't want to continue on the marketing and sales. I want to come back more in the uh, corporate level, the management level, and also the strategic uh, management level. So that's why I choose to, I found that I still lack of some um, knowledge on that. I need to go know more about uh, know-how. So that's why 
I think Judge Business School gave me a really good overall understanding of the industry about every aspect of the, uh, not only finance, but also the um, manufacturing or operation or uh, energy. They give lots of, lots of information, just uh, the way how should, you, should I absorb these knowledges. So it sometimes feel that really overload. Mm -hmm. you, you just cannot find time to get to the lectures and to grasp that knowledge. So that is a good thing. I think I already earned my um, investment back. And the other uh, motivation is that um, I want to have a one year break in my career life because I want to think more about my life path. I think um, Cambridge is different from other MBAs because our peers, our, college, uh, our students are more mature. Actually, I think most of us know what we want to do in our life. It's not just about, oh, I need to go to MBA because I want to go to consulting company. I, I want to go to McKinsey. I want to get more salaries in future. It's not about that. Many of our classmates, they are already VP or they are already own their own companies like entrepreneur. So why they stop their, their own business by coming to MBA? Because they want to explore their mind, I mean, broaden their mind and explore more information. Sometimes, I don't know if you feel that too, Matt, if you just focus in the same industry, living your, uh, on your career, even Beijing is a big city, but you still like, you are limiting in such a circle, in such a group of people. So you need a chance to jumping out and to looking into your life and into the whole China industry, the whole economy. And then you'll find, oh, there are something that I omit before. So that that is something I I really appreciate that I choose to that I chose to come to the MBA. I found um, um, I found that I'm now i my mentality or my feelings about the economy, about the whole life, about my career in future has changed. Mm. And and any final words of advice for um, people like yourself last year? who are applying to the school and um, what they need to think about as they put together their application to the MBA program? Can I say that MBA is not easy? <laughs> Don't think it's as a relaxing year. It's like uh, even though all the things you have learned already in your universities before, all the economics, all the management strategy or finance, management practice, all the things, you still found something new because of the lecture is different because of the discussion with your peers. You still find a lot of challenges in that. So um, be well prepared for the year. It's not easy. It's admission, uh, I mean, application is not the end of, the, of your work. You still have big challenge behind. And um, you will have a lot. You will, you will learn a lot. You will harvest a lot from this year. This will be your once in your lifetime experience. Great. Well, thank you for sharing your once in a lifetime experience with us, Grace. It was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Thanks, Matt.